Hello, it's Jessica, and I'm here to share with you kind of what's going on with all the discount brokers that are popping out of the woodwork and give you some collateral so that you can defend your commission. So real quickly, um, if you've seen any of the TV advertisement or you've seen any of the marketing materials, you'll see a lot of this 0% commission, 1% commission, um, videos and I'm sorry, commercials with red door, um, open door, red fin. They're coming out of the woodwork. There's lots of discounting going on. And it's because the market is so great and it's been so great for so long. So with a market shift, we'll see many of these companies disappear. And until then, I wanna help you defend your commission. So what they market may not actually be the truth because this is RP funding, Robert, Robert Palmer, you guys have seen this guy. And what does he say he is? Zero commission. So when we go to the MLS, and this is what I wanna share with you. When we go to the MLS, we can actually see um, what actually has been charged. So I wanna show you uh, listed.com right here. Their actual commission is 2.63%, very far from 0%. And yet our office average, after you've made any concessions or discounts, is 2.55. So actually, it's cheaper to list with a Keller Williams agent than it is with RP funding. So I want you to know that these are the real, true, full numbers of what's actually happened for sales for most of the discounters. And if you're coming into or running into another discounter that's not listed here, please let me know and I'll add it to um, the spotlight. So when we look at listed.com, which is Robert Palmer, we've got 2.63. ListSmart, which I know Paula Kuman, you mentioned you've run into this guy a couple times, 2.52, just a little bit less than we are. OfferPad, which is obviously a unique kind of company, they purchase the, more, uh, purchase the home and resell it. They're actually way more than 2.74. Some of you have actually calculated about a 13% difference. Um, you know, so look across these numbers here and bring this to your listing appointment. I'll continue to update you as these numbers um, change and yet know that what they say may not necessarily be true because they're offering um, in their marketing much better values than what they're actually portraying. And that is because they may call it a fee or an added service, much like, uh, unlike you, you actually are paid only when you're successful and for the percentage that you offer. So for Purple Brick, for example, they're, being, um, they're charging a fee, and even if they don't sell it, they collect the fee. So they're charging a fee to list the house, not sell the house. So you want to know more about the competition you're competing with today so that you can properly defend yourself. The other thing I want you to remember is you got to dust off the rust and break out some skills. So de defending your commission is a skill set. So I want to just kind of role play that real briefly. Um, if uh, your, your seller is asking you to take a discount, I want you to show them and remind them of how you're paid and um, remind them of some of the concerns you have if uh, the agent they're talking to is offering a discount. So first of all, you want to step back and remind the consumer how you earn your living. So I'll just role play this with you. And I'll say, um, I'll say your name is Joe. Joe, I understand that you want me to take a lower commission, but before I do that and, and explain to you all the options that we have, I want to better educate you on how money is split and how commissions work. So in real estate, you're going to talk to different realtors and you know, you'll hear different realtors offer different commission percentages depending on what they're offering. And today, I mentioned 6% to you, so I'm gonna use that as my example. So when you hire me to sell your home, I've made the commitment of professional photos, the branded signage I mentioned, uh, the staging, all those things that I made and that I've committed to do as an investment to sell your home. And I'm not paid or reimbursed for those unless I successfully sell your home. Unlike Purple Brick, who you had mentioned earlier, only is going to get that fee for listing your home. So I don't take a retainer like they do. I'm only paid if I'm successful. The other brokerage that you mentioned said they would do it for five or even maybe as low as 4%. So I wanna explain the differences. So first things first, when you hire me, I actually get half this commission and I offer the other half to buyer agents that have buyers in a way to entice them to show your property. So I don't get the full 6%, I only get half of it. And what's interesting is if you really break down our business, um, I don't get to keep all that. 
I wish I did, but I have uh, my broker to pay, which is about 1%. I have Uncle Sam to pay, which you know you can't avoid paying Uncle Sam. And then I cover the expenses or that initial investment that I've already offered to cover for your business, like the professional photography things that we talked about. So my concern is, is this agent that you spoke to that offered to do it for, what was it, 4%? Um, what alarms me about that is if the agent takes it for only 4%, it really concerns me that the person that would be negotiating in your behalf is willing to take a 66% reduction in income to get your listing. Doesn't that kind of concern you? Now, what's even more concerning is they probably aren't doing that. What they're probably going to do is take your listing at 4%. And instead of taking 3% uh, for themselves or 1%, they're probably gonna split the difference and only offer 2% to the buyer agent and keep 2% because they still have to pay Uncle Sam, they still have their broker expenses and the expenses of running their business. So what concerns me about this is if the buyer agents are gonna have to take a discounted commission to show your property, will they show it? By doing this, are you harming your listing and your ability to sell? So instead of putting your position, your property at risk, I would rather do the right thing and I can do some things for you to make a win-win for both of us. First of all, if I list your property, I'm gonna take it at 6% and I'm gonna do the right thing and offer the buyer agents a full 50% or half of the commission. Now, if I find my own buyer, let's just say I don't need the buyer agent, I know someone that wants to buy your home or during open houses or some of the other things I do, I find a buyer. What I'll do is I will reduce my commission from six and I'll only take five or four, whatever you guys wanna say you're gonna do. In addition to that, to improve the interest in your home, I'm going to put your home, um, and get your home approved for the zero plus mortgage. We have an actual mortgage with our brokerage that's special for our listings. The zero plus mortgage will actually bring the buyer an extra thousand dollars of credit, closing credit. So instead of putting your property at risk of not even being shown, I'd like to position it in a win-win for both of us and plus it with the zero plus mortgage so that if the buyer uses the mortgage, we get an extra thousand dollars. Does that work for you? So that would be a simple role play of how to protect your commission. And yet, if you're not ready to do that, let's get in the classroom, let's go upstairs into the training room and practice. Because right now, that is the difference between agents that are gonna thrive in this market and those that might struggle. And I want the best for all of you and know that we've got to put up our dukes and show the truth of what these type of companies are really charging so that you don't lose your next listing to a discounter. So I hope that empowered you to have a great day and know that if you want more training, look at the calendar. We're going to have a lot on this topic.